know, the all infamous whips in the ceiling, you know. Yeah. This time, instead of slapping into the garage door, they're just gonna go through it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, it's Light Wars 2.0. We got more contestants and a bigger prize. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You get uh, Skittles. You get an imaginary trophy if you got the best lights on your vehicle. That's right. <laughs> All sorts of contestants. We got name brand stuff. We got stuff that's, I guess you would say, from China because it is from China. It but, is. hey, we like it. The stuff works pretty well. It does. And we got some stuff you've seen in the past. Jake's uh, got some new accessories yeah. on his vehicle. Lauren's got some new accessories on her vehicle. That's true. And we're going to be comparing them. There's going to be... Uh, should we make a little point system? Coolness slash uh, light Ooh, ability? Be some yeah, kind of yeah. But I already know I won the cool. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so to give you guys an idea, we're going to be comparing obviously coolness and lightness, but also price and lumens. Yeah. Give yep. you guys some stats on it. Maybe you want one of these things. Who knows? There's going to be links below to all these products. Check all right. it out. Mm -hmm. Nick, give them a give Contestant them a number out. one, Nick <laughs> with Lilith. <laughs> Razor right. Turbo here. What we have. <laughs> so, Dragonfire, uh, 42 inch light bar. Technically, it's basically like a 40 inch it light is, bar. You know, they, they, they count the overall length, but the light itself, 40 inch. I do like it. It's, uh, what, 19,000 lumen, I think they said. Yeah, what's the price tag on it? Price tag is. It's like 230. 230. Right? Yeah, yeah, you nail it right on the head, dude. Yeah. 230. Because <laughs> I just did the homework five minutes before this started. <laughs> uh, but no, good light bar. Um, the one thing I do like about it is it's actually pretty sleek. So it is like, pretty nice. I do like that about a light bar. It's narrow. It's narrow, kind of tucks right into the roof. It looks real tight, real one clean. Here, pause on the video. Traveler. <laughs> yeah. This is what Nick used in UTV, t uh, UTV Takeover, yeah. man. Look, that, that is the turdiest light bar oh, I've ever yeah. seen. This Don't was like this was like seventy five bucks on Amazon, and it, all it did was whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even light up. He just whistled. <laughs> it, it was basically a flashlight. It was. It was uh, not very good. So I had to upgrade. Yeah, the Dragon Fire. It, it's worth paying a little bit of money, man. This is like an Amazon special. Special. It's garbage. Oh, it was. We literally cut it, it right here at the tip, so you can't even use it again. I think you should smash it. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey. Oh, yeah, was, I got it right now. Right. <laughs> oh, I even heard like a little whistle. Yeah. He <laughs> loves the whistle, dude. Love this whistle. Oh, wow, that's oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. You got it. All right. It's vibranium. <laughs> All right, on to contestant number two. Yes. With dirt dudes, you see me. All right, well. I got the coolness, I got the brightness, I got it all. All right, <laughs> nobody said you were cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the biggest thing on here, the fang, super bright, probably a good thousand lumens. <laughs> also, just to give you guys a base on like all these lights and we're saying what lumens they are, your headlights are around like 2,500 lumens. I have a rough country light bar, 30 or 40 inch light bar. It's a single row, and that's about, uh, what was it, 16,000 lumens. It cost me about $250. Mm -hmm. Next, the big feature on Lucy, the Sector 7 uh, mirror lights. They are the bomb. Will I say they're super expensive? Yes, running at $800. And then if you want the bungs and everything, that's another $150. It just depends on what type of mount you want for them. How much lumens? Uh, they are 8,000 lumens, though. Per light. Is it per light? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm See? pretty sure. Time out. Mm -hmm. Time back in. It's 8,000 uh, lumens, both of them together, so 4,000 individually. Moving on to the cool factor, going on to Lucy. The brake light uh, pods. They're rigid pods. They're about 150 bucks, I believe, for them. And whatever, they're cool accent lights, in my opinion. Lauren doesn't like them. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you think they're cool, because they are cool. <laughs> All right, moving on to contestant number three. Contestant number three. Likes long walks. <laughs> 
If you come over here to the side, oh, yes, driver's sir. side to be exact, we got the uh, the old Assault Industries Baja Designs. Uh, they ran me about 800 bucks. Uh, they're 6,000 lumens, not quite as much as the Sector 7s. We'll see how they do. They're going to do their best. Uh, <laughs> moving on up to the top of the vehicle, we got this old uh, Ox Beam. Uh, she run you about 200 bucks, 33,000 lumens. She's got these three special uh, bulbs here in the middle. They're uh, spotlights, like it helps it see it way farther. Way uh, farther. Is that how, is that, how that works? Yeah. The big war is going to be these this. versus Sector 7s, because they the are price. the same price, and it's going to be Baja Designs versus Sector 7s, man. And I got to say, looks they wise, I like my Sector 7s more. <laughs> yeah. I think this is just going to be really good ditch line and not so much forward facing like the Sector 7s have both. But we'll see. We'll the see. Sector 7s are a lot bigger. I'm liking it. All right. With that being said, I think we go on yeah. to contestant number four. <laughs> well, <laughs> contestant number four. First things first, we got the Kemimoto lighted mirrors. They actually, the really cool thing about this, you'll have to look on this side, they have a blue lens, which is supposed to help with the glare and stuff from behind people, which will be really nice, obviously, for when I have 8,000 and 6,000 lumens <laughs> shining in my mirror. Today at the news, it was kind of hard to tell because mainly I think it was just going. Did it seem like it hindered you attention. at all? Like because of the, like being in daylight and the lens is blue? No. Alright, well that's it seemed, positive. Seemed okay. Like, Blue don't matter. Yeah, no. In terms of being bright, uh, not very bright, they're only about a thousand lumens, so not bright at all. Yeah, but, that's, that's like white light right there. That's yeah, not in much. terms of uh, being party mode though, they're pretty <laughs> freaking cool. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> And then, obviously, we have the mic tuning uh, light bar. This is a 22-inch. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's reverse back. These cost $129. $39. $29. It's 129. close. 129 Yep, right there. Yep. <laughs> and just so you guys know, we did one of these in the last video. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch our first Light War video. Nick has a different Kemimoto version. They're like... They're brighter. Uh, they're his, brighter. He's got brighter lumens than mine. These are strictly just color changing oh. badass party moments. Yes. This is a mic tuning uh, light bar. It does actually, uh, it has 9700 yeah. uh, lumens, but so you can obviously do colors or you can send it into bright mode. Boof. Very bright. I'm blind. You got both. You got best yeah. of both worlds. And this also changes colors, so you got like a bunch of different colors you can go to. So again, mm -hmm. party mode mobile. All right, all right. So basically, this is the coolest thing anybody's ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't wait. All right. <laughs> Phase two of the competition. Now we're gonna go outside into a field, take the drone out there, and give you guys overhead view of all these lights so we can really compare them and see who is the winner. Who is the top dog in the lights? Or hey, pick and choose, mix and match. Maybe you want one thing and then you can get the other. So, mix, yeah, mix and match. Yeah, maybe you want the light of mirrors and then a rough country light bar. Who knows? Maybe there you, you go. want the windshield. Maybe you want this really sweet windshield that I'll we got what, from uh, Ace is, Hardware. This is Ace Hardware special, $25. Cut me the wrong size. Actually ended up being bigger than what I needed, which is probably for the best. You throw a little couple of window sealers on there, some zip ties, and just like that, you're dry the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To the field. To the field. All right, we're in a secret disclosed location, <laughs> AKA an open field. <laughs> Contestant number one is up. Remember, he's got the 42 inch light bar, dragon fire, then just stock headlights. We got the drone up in the air. He's gonna start off with low beam, go to high, and then uh, light bar, and then full power. And we're gonna go down the whole line, and we'll see who's the top dog. All right, All right Nick, let's do it. hit it. Lows, boom. All right, that's a low beam. All right, so there's low beam, high beam. Oh, 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 oh she ain't oh, working. Hey, Nick's having to, oh, there hey, we there, there we go. All right, there's high. Not too shabby. All right, turn that off, then go for light bar. Woo! 
Ooh, that dragon be blowing yeah, that fire. That has some right. serious it distance. It is pointed down, I will say. But it doesn't seem say. like it. It's going pretty far. Yeah. So and how many lumens is that? That's 18,000? 19. Or 19,000 19, lumens. 19,000 lumens. All righty. And then with a little bit of headlight action. All right, that's full power. That's full power. All right, All right she's pretty she's bright, bright, dude. She's pretty bright. All right, contestant number two, me, <laughs> the winner. <laughs> I got the Rough Country 40 inch light bar and the Sector 7s. These I think are gonna what take me over the top. We'll start off with the headlights like we said. All right, Beam's got a little something something. Okay. Not really, but all right. <laughs> oh, and now we gotta see what what does the uh, red pods do? Oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. All right, all right. <laughs> and here's a LED light bar. Woo! Damn, All man. right, Whoa. that's pretty good. Dude. That looks that's good. Pretty bright. You can see like the tops of the trees yeah. really well. It's definitely comparable to the dragon fire, I would say. Yeah. All right. All right, you ready to be blinded? Back up. Ready to be blinded? Sector, sector seven. <laughs> Turn your fingers hey. up. Woo! Yeah, don't look at those. You're directly. literally. I can see your shadow in the drone. <laughs> you guys gotta, gotta get out of the shot. <laughs> no, dude, I want the shadow. <laughs> the forward facing and ditch line is very impressive on the Sector 7s. Man, it's almost like creating like a blue effect, it seems like, around the edges. I don't know what's going on. Probably there. the purple, the red is like making oh, a the weird red. hue with your. You mix white and red, you get. Blue Weird issue. blue. <laughs> All right. Red, white, and blue. Yeah. Oh, Lucy's so patriotic. All right, moving on to contestant number three. Hey, guys, real quick, just want to talk about one of our sponsors, Classic Motorsports in Traverse City, Michigan. Um, the one-stop shop where you can get anything you need. Everything between aftermarket parts from LNW, aftermarket assassins, RPM Power Sports, Wayland Speed, and much more, and even all the best apparel they have, FXR, 509, Helmets, gloves, jerseys, pants, anything you guys need. Uh, Classic Motorsports, those guys know what they're doing. They're knowledgeable. Go up there, check them out. Traverse City, Michigan. So uh, let's get her going here. Uh, we got the, just in case you forgot, Salt Industries, Baja Designs, side mirrors, aux beam, light bar, 32 inch. Let's start with my headlights. It's a low, and here we go with the high. Oh, nice. That's pretty... High, pretty 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 high, high beam pretty seems good. pretty good, and he's the only one with different headlights, basically. Yeah. yeah. Those are actually really, like, distance-wise. Yeah, yeah Pro really XP good. headlights. All right, so now Ooh, let's red. do my light bar. Ready? 33,000 lumens coming at you. This is the biggest light bar out of the whole group, uh, allegedly, in <laughs> lumens numbers. Oh. Wow. Spotlight. Oh. Yeah, it's got the three, uh, three bulbs in the yeah. middle for the spotlight. Which you really see it, that you they tell. don't concentrate that you too. You can like, see yeah. that spotlight. Wow, yeah. dude, it might have the farthest distance out of all that's, the other that ones. That spotlight. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Let me add another okay, six thousand yeah, lumens true. for it. Hang on, you gotta turn all those off and let's just do the Baja oh, yeah. designs. Okay, they're they're stuck out. Uh, ooh, I mean. That's pretty wide. They're they're, very, if, if they're not like a deal. bright white, but they go deep. Yeah. It's a lot of ditch line. It's like it's really bright like, up close. And I can see deep into the tree line still. Yeah, it's definitely Sector 7's got to be. Definitely. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. there, though. If, uh, but if the it thing, comes down to a style thing, I mean, I kind of kind of think maybe the styling on the uh, Baja designs. Is not cooler, and the Sector 7's are better. No, no dude, you way. got, you got no this uh, CNC way, stuff dude. on the side. You can get it custom. You can do stuff. You can paint it. You can't do that with the Sector 7s. No, no. Salt industry. Leave man. a comment below what's cooler, Sector 7s or Salt. All right, go full power, dude. Super Sector 3. Send it off. Everything. Boom. Woo. That's all I got. Nice. That's about uh, 45,000 lumens. All right, we got contestant number four, Lauren and the RS, RS1, running the mic tuning 22-inch light bar in the Kemimoto lighted mirrors. Like we said, it's more the party rig than the lighter rig, but you never know. She could pr prove us wrong here. Maybe. Maybe. More like a party rig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so regular headlights. High beams. All right. Go to just the Kemimoto lighted mirrors. Woo! Those, those are just Can we get a flash white. Of the colors? That's just white. Do you want to see green? 
Do you want to see a party? Wow. <laughs> but moving on to light bar. Uh, oh, wow. Regular bright white light. I feel like, yeah, it could definitely be pointed it, up. It has a crazy pattern in the drone. All right, show them the uh, colors. With oh, that you want to see the party? Yeah, party style. Definitely not as bright, man. No, not really. No. Compared to your mirrors. No, my Do mirrors your... are actually a lot brighter. Yeah. Do the mirrors and that together. Oh, your mirrors are way brighter. Way brighter. Which is crazy. They're only a thousand lumens. I mean, you can just tell. I don't know how much lumens the light bar is with colors. I just know the. Whole... I mean, just just facing the camera right into the LEDs on them, you can just tell. Your mirrors are way brighter than ours. Yeah. That's crazy. You think the light bar would be a lot brighter? Everything Let's at turn once. Let's all of our lights on. All right, go full. Them. Yep, go full power. Yeah. Power up. All right, that's pretty good actually. Like the light bar is surprising me on how bright it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is pointing like directly in front of me on the it ground. Is. But I feel like that's almost where you want to see too. I mean, when are you driving, looking 150 yards ahead? All the time, dude. All the, <laughs> all the time. You're always looking ahead. Yeah, yeah. you're 150 yeah. yards. I mean, 500 yards. I feel like it just needs a to be thousand. pointed. Oh, yards. <laughs> hey, let's turn all of them on. Oh, that's now oh. what has to happen. They've all been showed. Now all of them got to be turned on at once. I think everybody goes full power right off the bat. Let's see who's the winner here. Let's send it. Wow. Yeah, yours has some serious distance. Nick, did you turn yours on? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you over there. <laughs> you guys can pretty much let us know who the winner is. I think we all know it was me. <laughs> uh, all right, all in all honesty, I think the best light bar out of all these is probably Jake's, the aux beam. Seems to be the brightest, gives you the most distance. Uh, and it's really cheap, two hundred dollars. Like mine's two fifty from Rough Country. Uh, Nick's is two thirty from Dragonfire. I think ours looks cooler, but Jake's definitely performs better. If we're going lighted mirrors, definitely Sector Sevens. They're the best all-around one for uh, forward-facing ditch line brightness. They're the same price as Baja, but in my opinion, look better and perform better. Sorry, Jake. That's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Nick needs more lights on his rig. I yeah, think that's something we've yeah. come Nick, to find out out of all this. Nick, yeah. I didn't even see you down there. I know. Well, all the lights are on the RS1. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready for that big night race. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lauren wanted to be just like me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought you didn't like Call the red. Chi. No, I don't like the brake lights. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I hope this gave you guys an idea of maybe some lights you might want to purchase or what you should stay away mm -hmm. from or what you should lean towards. Yep. I mean, this is a lot of different brands, a lot of different variations of what you would maybe want to have on your rig. Again, links to all these products below. Hit us up in the comments. Let me know what you think uh, was the winner. Who was the worst? Does Nick <laughs> need more lights? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and of course, August 20th, Crash of Palooza. Hit up Tosa Trails. Get yourself a campsite. Because yes. uh, the 20th, you got to spend the night. It's going to be a yep. good time. Live music. The whole shebang. Events happening all day. You can win money. You can win prizes. Why, Why would you wouldn't want, you want to come? Exactly. <laughs> and you get to hang out with us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we're kind of cool. Not <laughs> And uh, stay tuned because I think there's going to be one more video yeah. and then you're going to see one of the coolest things we have ever gotten on this channel. Cannot wait. Oh if you boy. want some AA parts, DirtDudesUTV at Gmail. Same email. You can get some Dirt merch or hit us up at Teespring. If you want a longer version of videos, go subscribe to our Patreon. Do it. it can Do be it. as low as a dollar a month and you get no ads, longer videos. It's a win-win. Yep. That's 12 bucks a year and you get more content. Yeah. And there's going to be giveaways coming out on it. Yeah. True. Seems like yeah. a... You're silly if you just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the Red Bull snow, uh, snow Scramble race? Yep. There's going to be a link for that also below. It's super awesome. Mini super. documentary almost on us. Check it out. That's really a wrap. Cool video. All right, guys. Yeah. See you the next one. Later.
Sweet dreams. <laughs> that's, some, that's some dedication. 1.30 in the morning in a blizzard and ripping her. Yeah! <laughs>